Uh, my name's Chuck Miller. I live in Brookville, Kansas. And Chuck, you may want to speak up just a yeah, little over the crowd. It, it, my truck is a, a double-A Ford truck, 1929. Uh, it, it was an old grain truck, and I found it under the hedgerow out in Kansas, out, out in Brookville, Kansas, uh, maybe 20, 30 years ago. <laughs> I was living back east at that time. So my wife's uh, cousins that live out there, they uh, they towed the thing back to their yard and it sat out there in the field for another 15 years or more. So one day we moved back to Kansas, to Brookville, and there was about 35 model T's at the Brookville uh, Chicken. Uh, There's a restaurant there, the Brookville Hotel. Oh, okay. Chicken. And, uh, I always they, heard stories about it and never got to eat there yeah, before they well, showed it. Wild Bill Hickok used to hang his hat there, and it's got a lot of history to it. Patina also. Mm -hmm. But anyway, uh, when I seen all them Model T's there, it, it got me back into the uh, idea of restoring something. So I had this thing sitting in the yard, and I, I, I started to tear into it, and uh, it, it was quite a uh, long, dragged out, costly affair. <laughs> and uh, uh, it was an old grain hauler. And it, uh, the farmers showed it no mercy, I guarantee you. I had a lot of machine work done to it. And uh, on the double A's, you, you can't go to the uh, distributors and buy a lot of aftermarket parts like you do cars. So it's uh, more of a challenge in that respect. But uh, uh, the color is a couple shades off of the bronze and yellow that Ford used on some of their equipment. But uh, I, I didn't want to go points because I got sick of the judges and the way they operate. Uh, I used to do that. I, I restored a, a 31 standard roadster and I'd done everything according to the numbers and the judges, uh, they didn't have the documentation and the knowledge and they uh, took some points from me because uh, they said the wheels were painted the wrong color. And uh, So that turned me off on the politics of judging. and. Uh, so I decided I'd, I'd jazz this thing up with a little extra chrome, tinted windows, the color, and I'm just going to build it for fun. And that's oh. the name of that tune. Well, it sure doesn't look like it spent any time in a tree row. That's for, well, that's only, for sure. It's only got 66 miles on it right now. So. Well, we, I'll walk around and take a look at the suspension here and. An interesting way I can get a shot up. It's a shot. drain box. There's two tiers more that uh, go up higher than that, but one tier is enough for it, so it doesn't block your vision. Right. And uh, I found it interesting the way they Ford built this with sort of a reverse elliptical spring. Yeah, oh, isn't that more people comment on that? Yeah, isn't that, that is a, a different looking uh, design. Let me see, I'm not sure everybody can see this for the glare. There you can see uh, yeah. the pivot point, this leaf spring turned upside down, and where you normally have the attachment point, in the middle of the axle is attached to the frame, and then the, the front end of the spring is attached to the frame, and of course it's attached to the axle at the rear, and then the wishbone keeps the thing from sliding around. Yeah. And uh, I urethaned you're, you're all the wood. I did paint the oak. Yeah. You get a better shot here. I just turned the night vision on, so that's why everything turned a little green. Uh -huh. And yeah, that's a bit that's a better shot of, of underneath there. Okay. That guy's coming. He's bringing me some mirror brackets. Uh, he's really interested guy to talk to. Uh, he's a uh, yeah. I was, I was hoping to catch him yeah, too. Yeah, he, he's a. You, you'll enjoy uh, talking with him. He's a uh, uh, more perfectionist in in, in parts. I need to need to be a little longer. And he's got some. So mm -hmm. I'll, I'll kind of uh, put the little longer ones on. Well, let me do a circuit clear around it. Anything else that? You think folks watching this on the internet would be fine, interesting. The whole bed's redone, of course. And you can.